today we are going to boldly go where no beam mg player has gone before we're going to teleport i'm going to show you how to do it first we're going to take this beautiful black hole and we're going to put it in here which Oh, I got the game pause. I was like, why ain't it animating? Ah, uh, goes, I hit J to pause it. So to boldly go where nobody has gone before, if we want this to mysteriously zap us to this other location, which in this case will be, well... How about the beginning of the track that we're going to make eventually? We want to teleport here. <sighs> Dog it. we got to know a location that we're going. Even Star Trek, they had to have a destination when they went into teleporter or the beam, whatever. They couldn't just beam to nowhere. So what we do is we teleport there with our car. Uh, we go into the editor and we make sure our car is picked and not something else we want to pick the car and what we do is copy these locations we hit control C now on the desktop I'll give you all this information in the description just copy this but you're going to copy that first destination or location rather uh, with your X Y and Z you're gonna paste it here and you're gonna pick the second one copy you're gonna go into here and paste then you're gonna pick the third one copy and paste like that and you select it all hit copy and then go over to where you want to teleport go to create object and over here in beamMG you'll see a loo trigger click on it and place it and then hit escape then scale it to the size that you want your teleporter to be which I'm gonna put this kinda of like into the black hole kinda of like that now over here in the inspector click on where is it at? Lou function don't worry about any of this other stuff just click on Lou function you'll get this little box pop up over here control V which has got your new, where it's taking you to just hit OK and then give it a test take your vehicle and spawn it up there uh, let's see F7 unpause game and drive into it and like magic it'll put you where you hold it to take you. now I'll include a funny clip I was messing around with this a little bit uh, but I have one of these teleporters down here at the bottom on the bottom of one of these and basically it was just recapturing the car which I'll show you and rather than try to edit the videos let me just put the car there and what that teleporter is teleporting to is right back at the top of this hill. Like an endless loop. Well, I can move it. I want the car to smash it in a good time. This is just how they did the avalanche scenario. Anybody's 
you just have a bunch of rocks at the top of the hill spawn and at the bottom there's a teleporter to send them all right back to the top and if you wanted to like create your own scenario where you have something you know kind of track hazard the only problem is you wouldn't want the player to go into the teleporter that's the only thing you have to kind of figure out how you design your track where the player is discouraged from actually entering the teleporter uh, but I got a mod of a made of this person I started making a dummy buddy so I'll spawn in a new buddy now I want to him to appear in a way that he will gravity will pull him where it needs to go so I'll pause the game and hit F7 so when he spawns in he's going to spawn in right there when the game when the level loads I'm going to find him here he should be a clone not the player or it won't work right it'll lock up on you or at least with me anyway you right click on him and you pack him into a prefab which I'm gonna stick it in the damn root folder of this level which isn't in the art folder it's just in the root I'm gonna call it buddy and I'm gonna pick this experimental prefab down here at the bottom and save alright now I'm going to save the level and you see he's a prefab when you load the game the prefab will load with the level even in free free roam it ain't got to be scenario now I've had had this crash a few times for whatever reason but we'll uh, kind of show you what it's supposed to do when it loads Oh shit, I gotta move that teleporter. Actually, it's in a different place. Let me move it to there. Alright, so now you can see what'll happen. He'll just be like a fallen rock. He'll just keep on and keep on. Let me resave the level. Exit the level, reload the level and you'll see if it don't crash which it probably will so I'm just going to exit the damn game because it, sometimes you just have to reload the game for some things not to mess up I will load this level and you should see while it's loading loading prefabs uh, like back here you'll see right at the very end loading prefabs which is buddy I fly over to here. Should see him, yeah. See him there. That was our prefab, but we packed. It could be rocks, it could be anything. But I wanted to make a track. I was inspired by the avalanche scenario, you know, and I thought about making my own track because someone a long time ago said, hey man, it'd be cool to make a track like a with real hazards and at the time I didn't even know how to make a mod I was like yeah man one day one day we'll do that which I don't know if he's even still playing beam mg I forgot who told me about it or mentioned it but at the time it was like yeah we could do this and do that when, when I ever figure it out <laughs> so that's how you do that that's how you teleport any questions let me know